ActiveCampaign webhooks give you the ability to receive information in real time when an event occurs inside your ActiveCampaign account. So let's start with the easy thing. What exactly is a webhook? It's when it's a way for an app, for instance, ActiveCampaign, to provide other applications with real time information as it occurs. So ActiveCampaign, maybe when somebody subscribes, you can send out that information to another service like Zapier, which then may pass it along. So let's go ahead and just look at what ActiveCampaign says about this. Okay, so ActiveCampaign basically says the same thing about a webhook. Whenever certain actions occur, like subscribes, unsubscribes, reads, information about that can be sent to a URL of your choice. There's a few little important caveats in here. One is it sends it as a post versus a get. And you can receive a lot of information when different things occur. For instance, when a new list is created, all of this information is sent out. When a contact is added, all this is sent out. Now you'll need to have a script that handles that. And for most people, Zapier is gonna be the way to do it. For this video, we're gonna simply create a simple webhook script that catches information that's sent over from ActiveCampaign. So let's go inside uh, Active Campaign. A couple ways to do this. There's the built-in capability that they have. We can also do something inside an automation, which in my opinion is the preferred way to do it so that you don't get bogged down with a lot of information. But let's start with what's built in. So if you go to your name in the upper right hand corner, my settings, click on developer, click on manage webhooks. You'll get to this page here. You wanna click on add, give it a name. It doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna leave it on all list. And for this, we're gonna put in a URL on our site that goes to a specific script. Now, all these events can trigger uh, a call to our webhook. I'm gonna only do one for this. Whenever a contact is updated, please send information to here. Doesn't matter who initialize it, I'll do everything right here. Now, this script I need to create. So on my website, I've got a site, a script called webhook.php, and inside there I'm gonna put this. And what it says, if there's a post event, then log the data. Otherwise, if this error log file exists, print it out. Pretty simple, nothing fancy, we're just recording information. So if I go to that, right now I'm just gonna try and read, and there's nothing in there. If I go back here, and I use their test capability, I'm gonna send sample data, it says information's been sent to this URL. Now I go back here and I read that information and there it is. And granted, it's not real friendly. Um, a script would parse that through, but basically it gave a date of 2013 and shade by the admin, contact email is test.test.com, etc. So they passed on all the information that they possibly could to this web script. Not very exciting because you really haven't done anything with it, but just want to make sure it works. And now let me show you another way of implementing this. So I'm gonna not save this, but rather I'm gonna go ahead and create an automation. Starting from scratch. And I'm not gonna do any entry, I'm just gonna have it no trigger. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna note, we're going to do here the purple webhook thingy. And we're going to paste in that URL that I previously did. Save that. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do in this automation. So I'll give it a name and a more appropriate one called webhook. And I will make it active. So anytime somebody gets um, put into this webhook automation, their information will be sent to here. So let's give that a try. Let's go to contacts. Let's go ahead and let's put this guy into that automation. So we're gonna put him in the webhook automation. Dave Wooding, Dave plus test 99 at Gmail. Now let's go see if this actually caught that information. It did, there it is, have the ID. Uh, email, first name, last name, and whatever else I've uh, collected for this contact. There's a tag, there could be multiple tags, IP address. So again, 
Not a ton of information, but um, something you can do with. Here's a little thing I'd recommend uh, for this, just for security reasons. Let's do this. Let's go in here, edit this, and I am going to do, I'm going to put a little something at the end. This is a question mark, secret equals, and I'm just going to do one, two, three. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to make sure that um, when the information is sent over, I check to sh make sure that secret is set to the value I want. So now I have to go back to my PHP webhook.php script. And before I log it, I want to put a little if statement in there. If dollar underscore get secret then go ahead and air log this otherwise don't you know because then we can't we're not going to trust it we're not going to believe that it's valid so let me go ahead and do that let's go back to our contact Let's find Dave again, and we're going to put him right back into that same automation. And he's been through the webhook once, and this is what we have. Let's put him back in there. Okay, that should have run, so we should have one more line in here, and we do. Now, I have that safety feature. Uh, that secret equals one, two, three. Let's try a different way. Let's go to a site called request b.in. In other words, request bin. Let's create a request bin. Copy this URL. And I'm going to go back into here, go back to automations. And I'm going to edit this. Now, I could put in a, whole, a completely different webhook. I'm just gonna simply replace this one. I'm gonna leave that question mark secret equals one, two, three, and go ahead and click save. So now, this is no longer gonna get updated, but this will. So let's go ahead and back to contacts. Let's find Dave. And let's put him into this webhook automation again. All right, now I'm gonna just refresh this screen and it should show me the information. So there's the raw information that was sent over. Here it is kind of in a little bit better, easier, readable format, if you will. So I now know that my webhook capability is working properly. So this is just the start for using ActiveCampaign's webhook capabilities.